Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John for the Game Video here. Wow, I can't even talk. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game Video here. Welcome you back to another episode of Dangin' Ropa. And into the last episode of Dangin' Ropa, we finished chapter one. We murdered Leon. And here we go. Entering chapter two. Nothing seeming out of the ordinary at the current moment. Dot dot dot. It's gone. She, she's really gone. It's almost like there was never anything to begin with. Every last sign of Siaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial began, before we took out the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you it's doing okay, now? no need to thank me. Just seeing you delighted, your delighted smiling face is a thanks enough for me. After all... Nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be too good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> no, it can't be. Monica was right. Also, like, bruh. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayoko, Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream. But I have to accept the reality of it all. Headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, um, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me. You sure took your sweet time. I was about to go get you and drag you back over here. So sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up, like he said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. Jeez, that's screwed up, man. Why did you say something like that? My room was spotless. There was nothing left. It's like the whole thing never happened. Must be tough staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you stay in Siaka's room? Well, staying there, with her scent still hanging in the air, it would hurt just as much. Plus, I decided I can't turn away from her death. Mm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? We're already working together, and yet somebody was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now, that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if the next one takes place. Yeah, because Sisihaka made the first move. Well... But... If we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have a reason to do anything like that, right? Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world, working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Uh, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended and modified to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which is seems to be incredibly advanced and they're providing our, for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we just witnessed. Oh, okay. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of an everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. then what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly wants to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. No. What? No what? I, I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anybody else. Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because Leon died because we all voted for him, right? No different from us killing him ourselves. Uh. But if we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? 
That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. But if you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll just turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that has happened tonight. We have no choice but to vote, and I can't imagine what would have happened if we would have refused. But at the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. It's been nighttime, Monokuma. What else do you have to say to us? <clears throat> this is as such. Soon the doors to the dining hall. Oh. And oh. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourself feel better and justify what you did. <laughs> see you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Wow. Well, what, what was that just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. With me? That piece of crap. Who does he think he is? And so, the day drew clo to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Chapter 2, Boy's Life of Despair. Daily Life. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement, and he called us to the gym. What is he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen in with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved with in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Ah, doesn't it feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure you stay healthy. You, you, you're the one keeping us stuck inside. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in a writhing agony for? So, why did you call us here? It certainly wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise. Just to make you exercise. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now... If you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation, in the empire of darkness, the power can be yours. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a hunk and junk of middle school that we come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us? Oh, that's Makoto. I, I see Monokuma. I just did... Wow, oops. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here to exercise? Of uh, course not. You think I am th have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so what'd you call us down for then? Ah, uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you open, uh, overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak Academy, a whole new world will open up to you. A whole new world. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids are these days with your ADD and ADHD. I've got to keep you motivated. 
So go ahead and look around all you want. Enjoy a brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us more confused than he had when he had shown up. But a new world. Is he talking about a way to get outside? That seems unlikely. Well, we don't know until we take a look. Whatever he meant, it seems we must search the school one more time. Okay then, split up and start investigating. When you're done, everybody meet back in the dining hall and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that. More like a stable food source. Now, let's get that moving. Let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, if everybody left the gym, that means that we should leave the gym too. So, my estimation is that area two or floor two will be open to us. Let's talk to Hero though. Hey, Makoto, did you see you inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. Seriously? The stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh. Ah, uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Literally, literally my entire stuff with Hero. I have no idea what the heck he's talking about, nor do I care about what he's talking about in most cases. Is this actually where I want to go? The gate that was blocking the stairs has now been opened. This is what Monokuma meant by a whole new world. So if so, what is up there? Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. This is the second floor of the school. Yeah, we're on the second floor of the school. I am watching my uh, cousins and aunt's animals right now. And Bluey, which is the big dog. He's a German uh, German short hair pointer, which I learned today. Um, I was like, he's a Dalmatian. He's something else. No, he's not. He's a German short haired pointer, which he's so cute. But anyway. He came up to me because he's like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> this is the most, like, talkative I've been all day. I fell asleep. And <laughs> I felt bad. But, you know, I fell asleep. And it's okay. This is the second floor of school. Maybe there's some kind of cool woo here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Okay. Now we got to look at our map. Okay. The boys and girls restrooms. There looks like a library on top of books. But you can't be too loud. Actually, this is the first place I want to go. What's in the library? Like, what what books can we check out? Oh, everybody came up here. Oh, boy. Well, we'll talk to ba ba by Akira first. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about Stop it? Talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Well, if you're thinking out loud, that means that I have the right to know what you're thinking because you're literally saying it out loud. So talk to me. Toko. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around. Oh, no. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> no, no, not particularly. Nothing really c c caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed. There's a preferor of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. No, Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Mm -hmm. Comic b b books? Young adult? That stuff's a, a waste of t t time. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My stars are filled with true love. Pair feelings. Don't compare them to the garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't m mean anything. I just... It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. So, so someone should burn it all. Oh... Oh, lady, doth protest too much, methinks I bet you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. Boy-on-boy. Yeah. -boy. I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. It's all filth. Throw away culture. It, that'll be trashed and forgotten in half of a decade. Yeah. Uh, just, just talking about it makes me feel sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm going to throw up. 
Grrr. You've insulted me. You've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like this before. So while talking to him, do the same thing. I'm absolutely shocked. How come they have all of these books here and not one copy of any of my works? Well, yeah. Why would they have c c comics in a library? Plus, most fanfic is j j just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. You just don't get it. Not at all. I, I do get it. And with, with that a face like yours, anyone can tell no, no, nothing you do is worthwhile. Say whatever you want about me and never judge a book by its author. Now you hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you have seen before you is nothing more than a rind that contains a meaty pulp of my genius. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You are full of it. Mm. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours is going to drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Kekyoko. <sighs> it's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For my library, it's not that kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Understandable. Is there anybody else in the library? No, but there is bookshelves that we can investigate, so let's do that. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like the library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. Whoa, 87? Okay, all those are just saying the same thing. Ooh, what's this letter? The shelf is covered in dust, but on it is a letter. What's this? Hope Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. Must have been sitting here for quite a while. We well, shall we see what's inside? But should we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Right? What we shouldn't do is leave here without finding out what's inside, okay? I broke the seal of a dusty envelope, pulled out a single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read aloud what it was written there. From Hope Peaks Academy's executive office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who, want, who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as this institution of higher learning, full with governmental support. Our graduators enter graduates enter society ready to become or take on active leadership roles in a, in every major job field. However, Hope Peaks Academy must now lower the, the curtain of the glorious history for the time being. The decision was not easy to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, there is no end to Hope Peaks Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing their closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank every one of your help and support over the years. For now, we are just awaiting official governmental authorization to finally seize, uh, formally seize operations. What does this mean? The contents of the letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem, seem Hopi and st had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust on this letter that had been collected, it doesn't seem like it had happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hopi could close down at least a year ago. Most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put a little on his little performance. But that would mean... It was closed when I got here a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think that I would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? Before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about this. In other words... This must have been part of all the Mastermind's plans. They lured us all in here. Someone could have created a, pl a place to judge and execute people and could potentially be capable of anything. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is in fact for real. If it, if it is real, though, 
does that solve one's mystery surrounding the school? The reason there's no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. That would be a nice, simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. Make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Peaks Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing the school closure have been resolved. What do they mean by serious issues? That, apparently, was why the school had to close in the first place. Is there a connection between that and what's happening to us no. now? Uh. If the two, in fact, two events are, in fact, connected... Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue to top of the figuring on top of figuring out what the mastermind's motive is. Although I can't really say any more until we find out more details. So, in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, with all that, to, will that be enough for us to get out of here? Or okay, what about this? There's a thick layer of dust on the top shelf. It looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge, sure lazy. Strange. Another Monica McCoin. Cool. Laptop? Looks like a laptop. The laptop is pretty old and covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what was going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing you can really do about it. What's behind beneath the door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw there was an old stack of books and files. Can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't have any reason to check it out. Classroom 2A and 2B. Reality isn't everything. Let's just exit. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Okay, that's just good to know that there's an area, but reality isn't everything. Okay. Now, if we go just straight across, what do we find? Probably another room that doesn't have much in it. If the baby is sleeping, please be quiet. Oh, Sakura's here. What do you got, Sakura? I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. I should probably really take a close look around. Same kind of situation, though. It's literally just the classroom. Oh, okay. We had to go... Okay. Whoa. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. See nothing useful in here. Okay. Well, where else are we wanted then? The pool? What? They have a pool. Just a second. Oh, Makoto. Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool in here! A pool, a pool, a pool, a pool, a pool! You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. There's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Well, of course, there's a freaking pool. Why would Hina not be excited? There are a bunch of different pool-related items on the top, on the shelf. Cool. What are the guns here for, though? That's a good question. Is that a real gun? It's not like there's a war here. Why would there anyone need something like that? Agreed. Okay, security camera we don't have to worry about. There's something on this side of Hina. If I can get access to that. No, I probably won't be given access to that. We'll talk to them then. 
Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you don't seem like the type that might be into that kind of thing. But still, it sounds like the locker room has all the exercise equipment you can ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. If you want to get stronger, I'd have to say that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But, 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 I'm not brave enough to step foot in the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go into the um... locker room? It, it's not that. I don't want to. It's just... I don't get it. If she's afraid of the locker rooms or something, that's pretty weird phobia, though. <laughs> the second floor is opened up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit I have been made much more comfortable Do for us. If things continue like this, the occasional class trial might not be so bad. <laughs> okay. The locker rooms connect to the pool. It looks super big and nice and fantastic to swim in. And I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting kind of mad? Facts. Like, why is she actually mad? I'm not going to the girls' locker room. We'll go to the boys' locker room. Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course. Really, really? Yeah. Uh, if you want to unlock the locker room, you'll have to swipe the, your personal e-handbook across the card reader next door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and only the same goes for the girls. And that is a bottom line. Bye. But what if somebody switch? Somebody opens the door, then someone else sneaks in. Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous, scandalous sexual depra dep depravity. See that Gatling gun mountain on the ceiling, right? All oh, and it'll be all duck 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 duck. I'd bet it really hurt to get shot by that um. thing. Um. No, uh, I think it would be a little worse than that. Hmm. What happens if somebody loans their handbook to somebody else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them in the girl's locker room, wouldn't it not? <gasps> what? That never encountered, never even occurred to me. To think somebody could go so low, so cowardly, so hmm. devilish. Hmm. Okay. Then how's this sound? Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to other students is strictly prohibited. <laughs> There. Now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You'd like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain's 100% cotton! I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything the person might have been doing using that handbook. Yeah, um... But yeah, you know, it seems awfully connected with all these locker room security uh, stuff. Because it's because all you teenagers are sex crazed mach maniacs. You're at the age where you'd try having a plastic bottle. So, to keep anything unseeming, unseemingly, unseemly from happening, I'll have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> huh, in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man or some woman decided to share room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force, or by cunning, or what, do whatever you want. I hate you so much. Okay, so new regulation is now in place. See ya! Man, that stupid bear totally ruined the mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. Celeste, your hero, you want to come with me? There's nothing I hate more than getting in the water on my, getting water on my face. Sorry, I'll pass this time. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor, but I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover anything new and interesting? Anything? There's a library. A pool! A freaking pool and locker room is filled with exercise equipment! There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. 
and the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, and whatever you want. So there's so much, it's insane. I'll go ahead and stuff you. Go ahead and stuff yourself to the grills, whatever you feel like. Are you okay with Keep this? in mind, of course, the going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about the freaking way out of here? Did anybody find anything like that? Oh. <laughs> There wasn't anything in the warehouse that could have used to get our butts out of here. Nothing. Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You freaking people. What? Who gives a crap if we got a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse? Or whatever the heck. We're loud. still trapped here in this place. Piece of crap school. We need to find a gosh darn way out. <laughs> now, now. There's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adoption is key, yes. For now, we must find each other, each to find a way to enjoy the current situation. Whatever you say, you freaking lunatic. For now, just continue our investigation and let everyone know if uh, you should discover anything. So, are we done for today? Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess so. The air seems suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope and then turn around and betray that hope? We're all promised not to leave our rooms during the night time. There's nothing much to do. I guess I'll go to bed. Mr. Monokuma! Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say that I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. Could I get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends and maybe even a normal girlfriend? Which is exactly why I don't like who I am? I understand now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any immigration, any... I am perfectly average, a cardboard cut-up. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Wow. Okay, personal attack on main character done. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Danganronpa. We'll see you guys then. Oh, this one.